chief deputy of the sheriff, maybe, which would be the number two on a totem pole. And that guy's way out of control, y'all. And the reason you guys lost video completely, but you still had the audio, is because he knocked my phone completely out of my gimbal. And they, it was they, on the ground. Yeah, they threw everything on the ground. They knocked everything. They knocked everything on the ground. Oh, but I don't think so. I'm going to be in a pickle. Do not touch me. <laughs> oh, ha, ha. I wouldn't laugh. Don't touch that, me. Hey, you just messed up. Don't touch up. You do I want to go? I, I would not do that if I were you. What are you, you going to do? Don't fucking oh. get it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is unnecessary. You want to get tased? You want to get tased? Put your hands behind your back. Get off of her. Get off. My hands are behind my back. Get off of me. Turn and put your hands behind your back. Get my fucking back. Hey, stop manhandling that woman. Hey, stop manhandling that woman. Hey, good afternoon, guys. Wrangler here. And as a special request, I thought that I would demonstrate all the times since their arrest at the Sheriff's Department that they have initiated illegal call flooding because they're petulant little children. Anyway, enjoy, guys. Um, all my records, my files, my briefcase, her phone, you know, gimbals, everything was on the floor and being crumbled up. Like, they, they crumbled up my case documents from stepping on that guy was out of control and he twisted my hands like super weird when he put them in so that no matter how i set it was he flipped one hand upside down from the other which is exactly what same exact pain compliance move that goldsboro did to me from kentucky state police they do that yes they do that when you are physically resisting arrest with violence and you're assaulting a police officer to put pressure on your shoulder when they pick your elbow up well, they put pressure on the and, shoulder. And they're not supposed to do that in handcuffs. There is a right way to put on handcuffs. It's palms out. I told him that. I know guys on crack that makes more sense than you. Actually, no. It's palms in. Fingers clasping together like you would be praying. But, you know, just like anything else you say, dumbwaiter, the opposite is what is the truth. <clears throat> Look, in the morning, Mead County Sheriff Department opens. Thank you so much, guys. Mead County, Kentucky Sheriff's Department Chief Deputy. What was his fucking name? I don't even remember. You'll have to talk to the sheriff because he's he's number two. You're going to have to talk to the sheriff about that guy and internal affairs. If you want to do a complaint, what did you do? And I hope that you guys are angry enough um, to not just sit back and, and not worry about this. You know, like as far as practicing your First Amendment. You know, I'm not telling you to, but I'm saying, you know, like I, I, I would, if I watched a video like that of a cop doing what he did to that girl right there, well, they all pushing that stun gun real hard up against her chest saying, I'm going to fucking shoot you with this. Really? Is that what he said? Let's take a look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is unnecessary. You want to get tased? Hey, put your hands get behind your back. Get off of her. I, I had to get between them. You know, and I normally would not have done that given the circumstances. I don't want to get any more charges added to me. And I did. Uh, I think that's why they gave me resisting. No, I'm pretty sure they gave you resisting because you were resisting. <clears throat> it's probably because they're going to say me standing in between them was somehow resisting. All I did was just de-escalate the situation because I was worried that he was going to pull that trigger and kill her. Are you deputized by any agencies of the United States government or the Commonwealth of Kentucky to interfere in an arrest? Um, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. I promise. The video will back it. Um, we'll be well, getting you video. Can see a lot more of what he was doing to me. For me, it was just like I saw everything from my vantage point. I even got between it because it was so bad. Well, thank you, Chris, for just confessing to resisting arrest and assaulting an officer, which in Commonwealth of Kentucky is assault in the third degree, which guess what? Numb nuts is a felony. So if they're going to charge me with resisting for, for staying between um, a weapon and my girlfriend, well, I guess so be it. You're just going to have to charge me with it. We're going to let the attorneys take care of business this time. I heard you guys calling. Thank you for calling. Yes. The phones were ringing off the hook. 
And then they, Tiffany heard uh, one of the joke or one of the commanders of one of the two departments say, "Shut the ringers off. They're YouTubers." More or less. Yep. He said, go ahead and plan for a surplus of calls. Thank you for another confession, Chris, because you, you were aware that initiating call flooding in the Commonwealth of Kentucky is also a crime. Good job, stupid. Tomorrow morning for court. Uh, I think the only reason they let me out was because they knew they were in trouble. Because I told them, I was like, y'all aren't letting me call my lawyer. And I was here because I got court in Hardin County in the morning. And if y'all don't let me go to Hardin County Court, ooh, that ain't going to be good for you. I don't think so. I swear to God, if you were any dumber or knew any less about the law, I would think your name was actually Chili. Uh, first of all, it's not their job to get you to that courthouse on time in another jurisdiction because you went and caught new charges because, well, you're a moron. All right. And second, they don't have to let you call your attorney to ask his advice on how to deal with an arrest. When you're arrested, do as you're told. That's how that works, because once you're under arrest, you're not free. You're in their custody. They're in charge of you. You might want to look that up. I mean, can I be getting some calls? Yeah, they deserve some calls for sure. So, oh, what did I do? Hit cancel. Sorry. I don't want to Mead County that. Sheriff's Department. And the officer, I can't remember his name. Do you want to get the paper and see what his name is? Mm. We're going to give you his name. Um, he said it. I just don't remember. Um, and his partner in that crime was not K N O T T S female. Uh, she knew what she was doing wrong. So it, it is going to be the chief deputy. So I think the highest up you can go when you call there, you'd have to sheriff and the internal affairs, um, would be the people that would accept the complaint on the chief deputy. Does anybody in here know it? Ray White, that it's not white, is it? Mm. No, I'm looking. I'm not seeing his name on this. Oh, it's on there. It's Whited. R Whited. W H I T E D. Whited. W H I T E D. Ray. Badge number 921. There it is. Badge 921. Uh, mods, you want to spam that? Mead. County Sheriff's Department, whited 921, because that would be the responsible person for him. There's nobody above the, him besides that. And then IA is a separate deal, so they would have to. Um, and Z with the $20. Thank you, guys. Y'all got this you. thing up to 160 bucks. Thank you. Wow, that saves Tiffy like 14 hours on OnlyFans. It was in the uh, clerk's office at the... Mead County Court Clerk Circuit 1. That was the office we were in. Now, I'm sure they're going to say that it's pending, but... Um, right. Can't you know, have anything during an investigation. <clears throat> but you might be able to work magic and get that stuff. I'm sure we're going to be summonsing it. Another dumbwaiter-ism. We're going to be summonsing it. But, yeah, the <laughs> Sheriff's Department opens in the morning. Um... You know, if you guys feel like you need to do those calls, then so be it. You're Americans. You have that right. Um, and then absolutely then you're right. We will be heading to Hardin County for my court hearing at 10 a.m. And um, I don't have what I need. They didn't give it to me. I don't have an argument. I know it's kind of off topic for this video, but here's the thing, dumbass. If you didn't have what you needed till... Closing time the day before your hearing. Yeah, you weren't going to have anything anyway. All right, guys, here's some more of him initiating call flooding. Some good and some bad that happened in that encounter. The police refused to help with anything on both the sheriff's level. And then we're going to have to go back to the chief and talk to him more to understand that. Because the way the warrant procedure works is if they didn't get that warrant within 48 hours, then they are in possession of stolen property. That's what's happening here. So the deal is I need to file a police report for that stolen property, and then I'm going to need to charge them with possession of it. They had 48 hours is what they had to give it back. Now, we didn't get any. Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. Actually, you're wrong. According to the laws of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, 
They had 48 hours to serve you with the warrant after the judge signed it. It's not stolen property. It's called evidence for the prosecution. These are that way, then what we have here is a whole fucking ton of Manel suits. Yep. Like on every little thing they're not doing in their policies as they're supposed to. Yeah, because your one and only lawsuit that you've ever filed has worked out so well. What was the result of that? Oh yeah, dismissed by the judge. Because he yeah. does not have jurisdiction over the sheriff. Right. And he is aware that it's not just a sheriff's deputy that that would be holding our stuff. Well, if the police department doesn't have any jurisdiction over the sheriff's department, then why did you waste the resources and the officer's time filling out a knowingly bogus stolen property report when you know it's not stolen, it's evidence of the prosecution against you? So why, if you already knew that, would you waste that department's time? It's the whole ass county attorney and the sheriff, the sheriff himself. himself, two elected officials. And I'm seeing some super chats and other stuff in here. I didn't get a chance to read them. And I've seen some people have joined my membership that I cannot keep up with. Uh, thank you guys so very, very much. Absolutely. Y'all are so amazing. And yes. then to have 700 people in here when we were afraid to be alone, we cannot thank you enough. That was, <laughs> that was amazing, guys. You all are amazing. Um, Cliff says I'm violent. He says that I flipped them up and I put them down. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest with you on that one, Cliff, she just got beat up, man. And um, no, I and tell her them life all the was time. I tell them all the time I'm flipping you up, flipping you around. Oh, I'm you talk about you down the phone? And putting you guys down. <laughs> but no, she was. Uh, we haven't published everything that happened yet, guys. No, because I did that for you. You're welcome, Chris, because I know you wanted everybody to have unedited footage, right? And I'll go ahead and say this. So for all those Meade County uh, clerks friends that are saying, well, you don't tell the details. How the hell are we supposed to know what happened? Well, here you go. Here's what happened. Um, he put me in cuffs. Once he knew I was secured in cuffs, then he commenced to beating the shit out of her. He grabbed her by the wrist, swung her around in the 180, slammed her against that glass wall, pressed his stun gun sideways like a gangster into her sternum, which she has a bruise there from it. He was pushing so hard he left a bruise on her. Whoa, 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 this is unnecessary. You want to get tased? Hey, you want to get tased? Hey, put your hand on your back. Get off of her. Um, and he's sitting there trying to pull the trigger. And the reason I know he's trying to pull the trigger, I'll save for court. But he was trying to pull the trigger. So I said, please, please help, help. And then I. You mean, help, help, help. Because you're a manly man, ain't you, Chris? Wife beating piece of shit. Why don't you come try holding a gun on me for six hours, bitch? I got in between the two of them, and I'm in cuffs, mind you. I got in between the two of them because I was scared he was going to kill her. And when I did that, he stuck the taser to my neck and started squeezing, trying to pull the trigger. And then people started running to our aid because of my yelling help, and he quit. And at that point, it was just a big shoving match down the hallway. He kept shoving us down the hallway with two hands smack shoving us. So you heard me still yell at him, stop pushing me. Well, that's why he was trying to push me down onto the on the floor. Really? Let's look at that again. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is unnecessary. You want to get tased? You want to get tased? Hey, put your hands on your back. Get off of her. Um, but it, there's more. I'm just not going to tell more than that right now. Is that okay with you guys? Don't worry, Chris. I'll tell it for you, friend. And then, since they're scared to, to mess with us because they found out we had connections. I wouldn't really call access to Tiffy's Percocet dealer a connection. Just saying. Not that I'd brag about involving cops. Because we want to. I would have much rather not went there today, but... We um, have to. I need my need phone, guys. Um, I need my phone, and they're holding it illegally. Um, so we've done the research, and they cannot keep our property once we've been released from jail unless there's probable cause to have it in evidentiary. So there is no probable cause... Uh, we're going to verify that with records requests, which she just put in, but there has not been any presented, right? Well, of course not. You can't FOIA documentation from an active criminal investigation. That's just how that works, man. How do you not know this? And it's not, it's not kept in evidentiary. It's kept in evidence. Stop trying to sound smart, Chris. We all know you're not. 
and originally they were trying to get a warrant for it, which makes even less sense. So they were trying to get a warrant for it, and they were shut down on the warrant. Uh, no, they weren't. Failed to surrender my operator's license. Can I see those? I was never supposed to. Now, let me brief it real quick. Yes, you were, because it was suspended. Remember, that's what you testified to in court. Here's my question. How did you maintain a commercial driver's license when your operator's license was suspended for multiple moving violations, including speeding? He's going to brief Oh, a whole nother page. Guys, I only have one, two, three things on my Kentucky record that I know of, and one of them wasn't mine, <laughs> and we already proved it. That one at LMPD, the Louisville one, it was somebody else's ticket, and I paid it. <laughs> and we already proved that one. Um, Even if that were true, Chris, which it wasn't, when you paid it, guess what? You admitted you were guilty. So it's kind of the same thing with the joint, isn't it? You've already admitted guilt to that, but yet now, 25 years later, you want to plead innocence, which you're not. 29 people before we could even come in. Thank you for being here. Um, I won't have much time. We don't have much time. We had to get another phone. Uh, things are not good. Um, some things are good, but a lot of things are not good. Uh, what happened to us yesterday is not good. I do now have access to my channel. Um, we're out of a lot of money. We've been damaged a lot. Uh, she's hurt. She's hurting bad. Then I suggest you stop beating your girlfriend, Chris. By the way, why do you only beat her on the body? Is that so that you don't leave bruises on her face? Is that why she has been spotted with recent fresh bruises on her ribs? So, um, but I needed the records that I didn't get yesterday. I, I was, if we had those, we might've been able to just show the judge and be done with it today. And he may have dismissed it even. And see, there's another way we know you're full of shit, Chris. All right. Because if they actually did have records that you needed, why didn't your army of attorneys, as you say, subpoena the records as is the, your right your sixth amendment right to due process to aid in your defense you didn't have to FOIA anything in fact you can't the prosecutors there are out of control like hopping up and down screaming don't dismiss it don't dismiss it yeah you know uh which we don't fully understand i mean even the judge can't really conceive why the prosecutors are doing that um yeah so we just i mean we're out of a, a bunch more money and then her and I now have cases, which some people are looking online and saying that those cases have been dismissed. They haven't. Uh, Mead County, it, it, they have charged us both. Stop breaking the law, asshole! Um, absolutely false charges, but um, resisting in like a third degree for both of us and uh, disorderly in like the second degree for both of us. So. You know, those charges exist. They have kept all of our stuff. They are trying to go through our devices, um, which they can't, they need not do that. Actually, they got a warrant to do that. Um, there is investigative material in those devices that will absolutely violate our federal case. Absolutely violate federal cases. Um, well, if you don't want them looking in your devices. Stop breaking the law, asshole! It's the stuff that that's none of their business on. And then our phones, all of the access to everything in our phones, including my YouTube channel, her YouTube channel, everything we've ever recorded, everything in our files and folders, in our lawsuit case over in Indiana, everything that we've reported to DOJ, everything we've ever filled out, all our passwords, that's what they're trying to get access to right now. Um, and we have attorneys fighting it. So um, I can't believe that they're willing to go this far to attack a couple people just because, and this is what it all boils down to, I wanted to do a formal complaint on Adam Sandage. That's it. That's it. So all of this crazy shit that KSP and and the Hardin County prosecutors and everyone else, everything they're doing now, the Mead County Sheriff, everything they're doing is just to keep one civilian from filing one complaint on one cop. You should never drink the bong water. <laughs> Let me see if I got this right. Uh, Mead County, Kentucky, Hardin County, Kentucky, and the Kentucky State Patrol, Post 4, 
have all they're all conspiring with prosecutors and judges and defense attorneys and officers they're all conspiring to a level that would if convicted get them about 30 years in federal prison in order to put your dumb inbred ass in the county jail for 30 days uh yeah i'm not buying that dude tom clancy couldn't even sell that shit. we're gonna need to pay for attorney defense now in mead county um court on the 15th and they're trying to get into our devices <clears throat> so you know the the current attorney that i have on it i will say this he's underpaid right now like i haven't paid him enough to do what he's getting into right now so um question indiana D kentucky this is kentucky our lawsuit our federal lawsuit is in indiana but that doesn't matter where it's at because it's federal it's been dismissed and i'm sure since you don't pay your light bill or your damn water bill uh yeah i'm pretty sure that any attorney you retain is going to be underpaid so it's in the united states so they they are stepping on the united states toes by trying to get the state is trying to get into our files which are they should be protected on the federal level for our court case again no they're not protected in the way that you're thinking because you committed new crimes using those devices they have every right in the world to go through those devices to get evidence of your crime since you used those devices to commit your crimes and they were so confident in it that they presented a good enough case that a judge signed a warrant. So yeah, the federal government is not going to intercede. In fact, the 10th amendment ratified by the 14th amendment would make it illegal for the federal government to intercede. I think what we need to do though, guys, is we're going to have to end up making another cash app link. I'm so sorry. Um, and I don't know how much yet. I, I mean, we're being told 2,500. That sounds like more than fair, but we're going to have to cross that bridge as we come to it. And right now, we were lucky to even, we had to lose some money to buy another phone, like police acting like their safety's at risk for getting up and putting on all that gear and going and doing traffic stops and shit in comparison to what we're doing. Actually, approaching a traffic stop is the most dangerous time for a police officer in this country and statistics back that up. Dude, do you ever research anything before you open your fat fucking mouth? You lard ass woman beating piece of shit. That is nothing, nothing. This woman had a stun gun pressed into at her heart. Then she shouldn't have resisted arrest. Let me show you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is unnecessary. You want to get tased? You want to get tased? Put your hands on your back. Get off of her. I got between them because I was scared he was going to shoot it. I don't know what would happen for one of those powerful stun guns to hit you right directly in the heart. So I got between them in my handcuffs. And again, Chris, thank you for your confession, your guilty plea, if you will, to resisting arrest and assaulting a police officer. Outstanding, man. Carry on. You're doing fantastic. Legally is going to require us paying for attorney. Uh, we are going to have to pay for attorney. So we will be setting up a new GoFundMe specifically for this. As soon as we got like a cap that makes sense. And which GoFundMe was this, Chris? I'm sorry, you just, you had so many this year alone having to do with your frauditing bullshit that uh, I've lost track of the $15,000 you've raised on GoFraudMe's, I'm sorry, GoFundMe's this year alone. And why is it that the people have to be responsible for the legal bills of your irresponsibility in your criminal actions? If this prosecutor in Kentucky goes and makes me take a drug course that's the wor probably the worst thing you could give me. I would rather spend 30 days in jail than someone paint me as a person doing drugs because that'll give some validity to the Indiana police screwing up and busting in our door when we didn't do drugs. First of all, the Indiana police kicked in your door because you stole a motorcycle that was bequeathed to your mother from her brother, a.k.a. your uncle. That's why they kicked in your door. And next, you don't, you, what, you, you have a problem being saddled with an addiction, but you're perfectly okay beating the shit out of your women, holding one at gunpoint for six hours while you beat her in front of her child. You're okay with that, but you're ashamed to be saddled as an addict. Fuck you, Chris. Was way, 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 way out of line, way out of line. 
what you didn't see, guys, is that he yanked Tiffany from behind arms, spun her around, slammed her against a glass wall, the windows where you can see in the clerk's office, and and stuck his stun gun sideways like a thug into her heart, or in her sternum, and pressed it to the point where she bent backwards and was saying, I will fucking shoot you with this. Are you sure that that's what he said? Is this like the time you told everybody that the cops, you know, broke Tiffany's back when you really did it throwing her across the room? Is it like that? Uh, but you say that the chief did this, huh? Well, let's look at it one more time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is unnecessary. You want to get tased? Hey, put your hands behind your back. Get off of her. That's what was happening. And I got between them screaming help because I wanted everyone to look. No, you were screaming, help, 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 like the little wife beating bitch you are. As anything on his department, much less his, less his chief deputy. And I will be talking to other sheriffs and I guarantee you they're gonna roll over and be sick at the thought that other agencies are that horrific. And I'm talking about agencies that are used to being on the end of getting, you know, hammered a little bit. Like, that their agencies are bad. They're going to be going, no, 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 now that's bad. Like, real bad. I guarantee it. Yeah. Um, Fake indignation. Check. Pass the blame on to somebody else. Deflect from my responsibility and my culpability in criminal actions. Check. All right. He's gone down the fraud or union checklist today. Sorry, guys. I forgot to turn off my notifications. So my phone's ringing and all that is is where some of them fucking trolls on here have been given my phone number. They got a hold of my phone number. Well, you're the one that put the number on the internet when you were advertising for your business. You don't have a license for, which means you're doing it fraudulently. So that's your fault. Small level government agencies and these idiots working in these places. We need to quit letting them get away with lying. Just make it where you and that lot lizard next to you are allowed to lie, correct? We need to have recording devices and people need to do record requests for the camera footage that's in all these agencies and get them used to the fact that we, the public, are watching all the time. Well, I'm sure that a stalking, wife-beating piece of shit like you is always stalking women somehow like that. But, you know, it's funny. When I FOIA video out of Kentucky, I never have a problem. Why is it you think you keep having problems? Yeah, maybe if you quit slandering, defamatory people in every one of your fucking piece of shit videos then maybe you wouldn't. They are not allowed to see those videos in our phones. That is the rules of federal court. So the fact that the KSP is trying to get a judge to sign and they think they're going to get it today, a signature from a judge. Oh, they didn't think they were going to. They got one. In a state level court. And what they're going to open up is going to be all of our federal cases stuff. That is a huge issue huge violation no it's not because you're the plaintiffs everything that you would have had case relevant case information in that you would have had to have already disclosed and turned over to the defense so what privileged information could you possibly have about that lawsuit for no reason like they can't just do this stuff you know we the people can't just let this kind of stuff happen you know and i don't really even know what to do about it other than you know um, push that they're not able to get away with this kind of shit together. Yeah, their Google rating, Mead County's Google rating certainly doesn't belong at two. It belongs at negative 50,000. <laughs> um, I will be figuring out a video for y'all um, on everything. So that'll happen soon. For now, we're just going to try to, we got to put some food in our stomachs. We've got to get home. I've got to go. Um, we're trying to get our phones back and stuff. We're talking to two different attorneys' offices and. Wah, 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 wah. Bullshit, lies, conspiracy theory. Yeah, we got it. All right, guys. Well, we heard him confess about five different times in that video, and I'm sorry it was so long, but it took longer to put it all together. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed it. It's Wrangler. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you tonight.